Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 uh, it's very nice that the people look into the inflation issue, and uh, especially in Germany. Now, this article is going to tell us how fantastic uh, life has become in Germany in the past, I don't know, six months, what a coincidence, and the inflation. And uh, they tell us that the inflation, and it's very, very, uh, very funny, not this article, inflation in Germany could hit a 70-year high of 10% amid Russia's natural gas squeeze, German Central Bank chief says. This article comes from Business Insider, August 22, 2022. Now, let's see if we go 70 years back where would that get us to so 70 years so we're gonna go 20 about 20 it's gonna be 2000 minus 50 would be 1950 about 1952 90 so that is right after that uh, war so Germany has never had such a big no had in the Weimar Republic and uh, you know after the First World War that inflation you didn't get to that one, so take it easy, <laughs> relax. Not, not there yet, but you're on the way. You're on the way there. So, so it's after the Second World War, the inflation reached this point of 10%, which I can tell you that I feel it. Now, I assess it based, based on just going and buying stuff. It's not 10%. I think it's more than 10%. This is the official number because I think it's... Uh, it's minimized, it's contracted. You wanna know how much it is? Go and uh, take pictures of, uh, if you didn't do it already, take pictures of a gas station and see how much the price is for gas. Look at your uh, electricity bill, your gas bill. Look at your uh, whatever groceries you regularly buy. And not, I'm not talking about things that you don't buy. No, 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 because they put those in too. No things that you buy regularly and I guarantee you and that's the word I'm saying I guarantee you I guarantee you there's more than 10% if you do that I don't care if Bentley or Lamborghini or whatever uh, you know uh, has an inflation or of whatever 50% or 5% I care about things that I can afford and, and I buy regularly and mortgages and all that and if it, I think is more than 10% I know it's more than 10% uh, it's it's impossible to be less than the ten percent when you go and buy stuff. And I went yesterday. I bought some groceries, things that I haven't bought in I don't know in about a month. They were like, let's say usually it was like five dollars. Now it was like seven dollars. There's ten percent in a month. There's not ten percent in a month. There's twenty percent, more than twenty percent in a month. Now it doesn't mean that in a month I will see it again from seven to I don't know nine or ten. But we'll see. I will let you know. So Germany's inflation rate could hit, could hit, it's not there yet, supposedly, 10% this fall. And I, I, I there's no way for me to tell you about Germany, but I can tell you here, it's more than 10% based on everything I told you so far in this video. Chief Central Banker told Reiche Post, no, Reinische Post, the country is dealing with an energy crisis caused <laughs> as Russian natural gas supplies slow. No, you stopped gas... Um, Nord Stream 2, remember? You stopped it. You would have a gas over there, even if Nord Stream 1 would have been still... Eh, 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 eh. And probably if you wouldn't have uh, placed sanctions on Russia, I don't think that uh, these problems would be in Nord Stream 1. I Probably zero problems. But So don't blame those guys and that. Blame yourselves and not the German people, the weasels who live to listen to their uh, masters. On Friday, Gazprom announced an unscheduled three-day shutdown of the key gas pipeline from August 31st. Germany's inflation rate could surge over 10% this fall, the highest in seven decades. On the back of the country's energy squeeze, the country's central bank chief Joachim Nagel, or Nagel, Nagel, told the Rheinische Post. Nagel comments published on Saturday came just after Russian state gas giant Gazprom on Friday announced an unscheduled three-day shutdown of the key Nord Stream 1 pipeline that sends natural gas 
to Europe. Gazprom said the pipeline needs maintenance and would be shut for from August 31st to September 2nd. Well, start the second one. <laughs> it's not that easy, is it? Uh, the development sent natural gas prices higher at Gazprom as Gazprom had already cut the pipeline gas flow to just 20% of its capacity. What, are you crazy to let you uh, fill your reserve, gas reserve, so then we cannot squeeze your little dingalingi in the winter? Hmm, hmm, they're not idiots, are they? All right, 20% uh, of its capacity citing technical issues. Pfft, they can cite whatever they want. It was a Monday and they decided to do it which is highest, highly dependent on Russian gas, has accused Russia of weaponizing, yes, gas to retaliate against sanctions, yes, over the Ukraine war that you were not invited, and is breaching itself for a severe energy, is bracing itself for a severe energy crunch this winter. And I'm quoting, the issue of inflation will not go away uh, in 2023, Nagel told Rayushine, uh, Rainische, Post, according to an official transfer from German central bank, supply bottlenecks and geopolitical tensions are likely to continue. You did a good job. You got the population where you wanted. Germany's economy stagnated in the second quarter of 2023, growing uh, <clears throat> zero, zero over the first zero percent over the first quarter, according to the country statistics. Probably it shrank like three percent or two percent, but they can't say it yet. Remember the mountain slope um, theory that I have? Now they just tell you that probably they're gonna tell you in a while it's about shrink like five, shrank about five percent, but now they don't wanna scare the little fish, you know? Stay there, stay there, don't, 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 don't get scared, stay there. <sighs> Meanwhile, inflation rose to a 40 year high on 7.5% in July from a year ago, primarily due to high energy prices, according to the statistics office. The German central bank had in June forecast 2023 inflation to reach 4.5%, but Nagel or Nagel told Rheinische Post that price gains are likely to average over 6% in, instead. And I, which am not an expert or analyst in, in the economy whatsoever, I would say that gonna be much more than 6%. And we're going to talk in a year or maybe, yeah, in a year and a half, you're going to say, hey, Emil, come over here. See, the inflation is 1.2%. Uh, it's not 6% as they said or more as you said. And I'm going to say, yeah, okay, let's check it out. And it's going to be, unfortunately, higher than 3. All right. It's, if further de developing delivery problems are added for example due to prolonged low water levels the economic prospect for the second half of the year would deteriorate further nagel told the german media outlet as the energy crisis deepens caused by you a recession ap appears likely next winter you impose sanctions on those guys what do you want german leaders have warned of so german industry leaders have warned of severe economic hardships should russia Russian gas be cut completely. To save energy, Europe's largest economies has already started turning off some, some heating and lights and sh shorter showers or no shower at all. Hey, babe, did you shower this week? No, last week. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. I've been through that. Not a, good, uh, not a good feeling. You have to work harder. You have to work harder and you get less. And then you say, why? Why? For whom? And then you see uh, those co the, the called uh, services, social services, and they will help you with this and that, but not you. You go and work. There will be others who want to take advantage of that, because that's how the these guys are uh, solving problems, bar uh, you know borrowing and borrowing and borrowing or printing, printing, printing. That's absolutely inflation right there with printing. And then they say, I don't know, it was the pandemic. I don't know, it was the Russians. It's someone else but them. When you are voted over there and you appoint your weasels in charge of your departments, we expect performance. Don't tell me, oh, if it weren't us, for us, the things would have been uh, uh, worse. No, they're bad. I don't care if it could have been worse or not. They're bad. I don't live my life to have a, a not that bad life. No, I live my life to have a better life. Okay? 
you're not incapable of doing that bing out let's get the one who uh, is able to do that you can't bing out next one and maybe someone will come and say we'll solve the problems if not we tried if you don't try and stay with the same guy uh, telling you oh, it's not as bad it's, it's bad it's bad but not as bad i don't want to hear that out go to work and say that hey you know what i up here i failed here i failed here but it would have been worse and i think your boss will be like or the owner oh yeah oh, it's okay emil you could you could go i'm gonna give you a bonus more like a boner to get out thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart Look for the truth and be just.